So as you'll recall, this woman had a uh, tough time in the adjuvant setting with chemotherapy and then had a very short period of time where she was off treatment and developed recurrent disease, required combination chemotherapy. So as you can imagine, she's probably accumulated a lot of side effects from prior chemo and is probably just tired of uh, IV treatment. So in that regard, uh, capecitabine seems like a very good choice in terms of tolerability, in terms of the fact that it's an oral treatment, a non-alopecia uh, causing treatment. However, uh, when, when looking at this choice, which is a frequent one um, for patients that have metastatic breast cancer who progress, capecitabine tends to be uh, a treatment that's chosen quite often. But I've been particularly uh, moved by the data that compared capecitabine and aribulin uh, in the metastatic setting in patients that had gone through first, second, or third line uh, treatment. And in this uh, study, the 301 trial, there was no difference between uh, the two options. However, in subgroup analyses, there appeared to be an uh, overall survival benefit for patients that received um, aribulin over capecitabine. So uh, I don't think that there's any uh, hard and fast correct answer uh, per se. I think that every decision is a discussion with a patient. So capecitabine may have been very appropriate, but from an efficacy standpoint, uh, I would have probably tried to convince this patient to take aribulin because I do think that given the data that I discussed, uh, I would be more in favor of that approach. As far as a local treatment, uh, in the setting of metastatic disease, we tend to reserve local therapies for patients that are having local problems. So in this case, hemoptysis, a post-obstructive pneumonia, something of that sort. Uh, in general, we try to approach the treatment in a systemic way, and so I would have uh, probably uh, offered further systemic therapy as opposed to a local treatment. So whenever we have a discussion regarding uh, a change in treatment for a patient who has metastatic disease, all of the things that were mentioned, including clinical trial data, side effects of treatment, goals of therapy, all of those things come into play in discussions with patients. I, I find that uh, when we talk about um, efficacy endpoints uh, with patients, uh, there is a bit of uh, understanding about um, terms that, that are more meaningful to them, including overall survival. So that's pretty easy for patients to understand. And I, I find that a discussion about a therapy that will allow them to live longer is pretty easy to understand. Um, but of course, we do take into account patient preference for IV versus oral therapy. Certain patients don't want to lose their hair, and that's quite bothersome to them. So obviously, all these things come into play when we make the final uh, decision about therapy.